Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 52, and this is war number 11. We've got this war and one more, and the season is over. We're going up against an alliance called Peaky Blinders. All right, who did y'all ban? Why, why, why won't y'all leave my lady Deathstrike alone? She's probably going to be globally banned next season. Um, but all right, cool, cool. That's all right. Uh, let's go in and see. All right, so we already know. It's going to be Gladiator or um, Magneto. Uh, for this one, that's going to be Corvus for a Red Skull. Okay, so we've got several here. This looks like a Corvus path. I think Corvus can do all of them except... Well, he can do the um, Future Ant-Man, but I do not like fighting Future Ant-Man with Corvus. Lose a lot more health than I am comfortable with in that fight. But yeah, this looks like Corvus. Corvus can do three out of the four. All right, let's uh, see who he's assigned me to. I'm going to take a look at the spreadsheet. Okay, so Guardian, he's got Corvus, okay? Um, Mysterio, Corvus, yep, yep. Uh, Ant-Man, Future, Gladiator, uh-huh. Red Skull, Corvus. There we go. Now, let me see. Does he have me for anyone? Yes, he does. Ha-ha. Um, let's see, Iron Man, Infinity War. So that's going to be this guy right here. Incinerate, shock, that's Corvus. Okay, so we've got, and I think he he just has me bringing in a Proxima for the um, Synergy. And that's it, okay. Nice, smooth, looks like a pretty straightforward uh, war uh, for me here. I don't think I'll have any changes. Gladiator, I mean, I could change that to Magneto, who can do that one fight, and I won't need to use any, um, you know, the advanced power boost that I will use with Gladiator, but we're good. I'm going in with just this. All right, so let's get on with the fighting. Okay, I'm going in with Gladiator, Corvus, and Proxima Midnight for that synergy. This is going to be a Corvus party, y'all. I am so happy that he is banned immune. He is so good for my path. If anybody on the path gets an armor up and they're not um, normally nullify or stagger, you know, or any of that kind of stuff, his armor breaks. If he can remove the armors, it's over with. I don't have to worry about him not being power drain, power burn, all that good stuff immune. So first up, we've got Guardian, who is a good defender, just not against Corvus. Now, look at this. I'm having some trouble in the beginning here, by the way. All I was trying to do was parry him initially, and you saw how long that took because he wasn't playing ball. Suddenly, he was wanting to do heavy attacks, and he wasn't actually attacking me right. I tried to parry, and, and it didn't work. And, so I just was patient, and we all good. Now, right there, bam. He just auto-blocked. That's why I fired the special one, okay? Now, knock him down. I got true strike. Got my charge, and we're all good, and we just take him down. So I basically used Guardian to get my true strike up so I don't have to worry about, 
um, any auto blockers or evaders uh, later on. Now, Mysterio, he doesn't, uh, if I remember correctly, doesn't get an armor up, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to armor break him anyway. <laughs> yeah, no armor ups, but bam, armor break, merely a crack. And I'm still not sure what the armor break does other than make him um, able to be poisoned. Um, cause he's poison immune and I think the armor break removes his poison immunity, right? But is there anything else it does? Because I, I thought that it had something to do with his power that while he was armor broken, he wasn't able to activate something. I don't know. Uh, leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. All right. So something that you'll notice I start doing here. Uh, when I have energy, I will go all the way up to this guy before I go to bed. That way, when I do go back in here, I'll be able to do all the rest of my fights in one boost, one set of boosts. What I was doing before was doing it as I went. And so I would boost up. I would go as far as I could go. If my uh, teammates haven't already, you know, gone then I have to use my energy to advance. And so I might not get as far as I could. So now I have to wait. Then I'll come back, boost, but I won't be able to get all the way to a mini if I need the mini or anything like that. So I end up having to boost like three times, but this way I don't have to boost, um, but like twice. All right, this is a standard uh, fight by now. If you guys have been watching me all season, uh, I use the advanced power boost so that I have more time to get to a special two. See, it's already run out. He was trying to wait that out, by the way. The AI is nasty with it, but didn't matter. Now I've got a nice long um, vigilance, but I'm already back to a special two. So I'm good. Very good. And by the way, when he gets above, I think, what is it, 10 confidence, his, um, I think, the heavy attack, he goes unblockable. And if you fire your special while he's unblockable, it actually does more damage. Um, I have to look that up again, but, you know, I believe it's something like that. Okay. And now here we go. So, look at this. Just ripped his armors away from him. Just ripped him up. Look at this. Bam, bam. But he got his armors back. Didn't matter. Did not matter. He got his armors back right when I was about to go into my special two. Didn't matter at all. So, we are tearing this thing up. However, I'm looking at the um, score and they are destroying us, okay? But that's okay. I'm gonna do my thing and let everybody worry about doing their thing. Um, I don't know, I, I think um, today um, football is on, so that may have affected uh, some folks on both our sides because uh, I, I see a lot of slow movement going on. All right, but this fight here, look at this. Ain't trying to hear it. There you go. Boom, boom, yep. Look at this, look at this. I'm just, I'm just having fun here, waiting out the incinerate mode. Now it's uh, in shock mode, and now I just go off. And the fight's over. Just like that. Wow. Love me some Corvus. So glad they brought him back as a seven star. Loving it. And he will go all the way up. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for my portion of this war. We'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. Oh my goodness. We won this one. The reason that I sound so surprised is because we should not have won. 
I actually followed this war. I don't always follow it, but I noticed that in the beginning, they were not moving. And then I noticed that they were moving pretty slow and they had no deaths. We were already like at 50 something percent exploration and they had no deaths, but they also had not um, explored very much. And so I was curious as to how they were going to go. Were they going to just let us win and they were just throwing this game? Or were they waiting until the last minute? Because I had a um, alliance that used to do that. They would wait till the last minute and try to lull us into a false sense of security where we're like, oh, it looks like they're throwing it. And so we just kind of don't play seriously. And then they come back hard, you know? So I was watching and we had three Enchantress bosses. They took down two solo. And I was like, "Uh uh-oh, we're in trouble. I also noticed that we hadn't explored everything yet. And I don't know what happened, but someone either didn't show up or got stuck or what have you. So all the way down to the wire, and I do mean down to the wire, I was watching them. I pretty much knew we were going to lose the only way. There was only one way we could win, and it seemed like a long shot. And that was if they did not get that last Enchantress boss down. Now, they got two of them down, soloed. And I don't know who they had as a boss killer, But I'm thinking that person didn't show up because what I saw was a person go up to the boss and stop. That's usually, you know, when they have the energy and then they wait for whoever is assigned to take out the boss. And I don't think that person ever showed up. And so now I'm looking at it. It's 20 minutes. Then it's 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, my, are they going to do it? And I see movement on other parts of the map. And I'm like, okay, okay. It gets down to like three minutes. And that one guy is trying his best to get that Enchantress down. He tried one time, boom, didn't get it. Twice, didn't get it. Three times, didn't get it. But I knew that if he managed to get her down, they were going to still win. And so I watched his fourth attempt was at something like um, 30 or 20 seconds left. And the war ended before he finished that fight. I don't know whether he would have gotten her down, but as you can see here, they did not get her down. And look at this. Neither one of us explored the full map. I don't know what's going on. It's just end of the season. But look at their attack bonus. There's no way we were going to win this one. If they had gotten that boss down, there was just no way. Okay? Just no way. Look at this. I I was looking at this. I was like, 81 defender kills? What in the world is going on with my alliance here? Um, Shout out to our MVPs, though. They were putting it down. And we were very surprised that we won. So at this point in time, there's a very slight chance that we will sneak into um, Platinum 2. If we win this last final war of the season. So I don't know. Um, If we win it, it's still not guaranteed. Um, But we'll see. If we do get uh, Platinum 3, honestly, we shouldn't have won this war. So if we do get into Platinum 2, it'll be because of luck, to be honest with you. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.